Hello everybody and welcome to this short video with myself and Liz Drew and we're going to be looking at the Buffet E11 clarinet. So the E11 is the first in the range of Buffet wooden clarinets and it goes onwards and upwards into mm. many thousands of pounds. But mm. this is designed for people who are making their very first upgrade uh, into the wooden area and maybe you've got a slightly tighter budget. Um, however, there are places in the world where people start on a wooden instrument. Oh, indeed. I, mean, I, I started on a wooden instrument myself. Okay. And some there's a train of thought that, that encourages you to start on those instruments which have a greater, richer tone quality possible to them. Yes, to get you into yeah. that early on. I suppose yeah. that historically, over here in the UK, we've started on plastic ones, maybe for weight reasons, and, mm. and we get those into people's hands when they're still quite young. But the E11 is not heavy, is it? No, it's very, very light, which is perfect for, for young people developing physically. So yes. as not to put strain on arms, which needn't be there. Exactly. So Buffet have obviously thought about that, and they know the type of person that's going to be coming to this is potentially a younger upgrader, mm. uh, or even a young beginner, like we've said. So in terms of where it sits in the range from spec, there are a couple of things that they don't do to maybe keep the price down to make it more affordable. So there is a fixed thumb rest here as opposed to the adjustable one. You can always add an adjustable one if you want to. Yep, that's doable yeah. afterwards. Um, that comes in the range at the E12, which is the next one up, and we've done a separate video about the mm. E12. Um, it has the standard metal or nickel ring on the end there just to protect that bell from yes. being used as a, as a lightsaber, as is commonly <laughs> the way. <laughs> um, and other than that, is it, it is essentially the student design, but in wood. Yes. Um, but it still has some of the virtues of buffet. In it does, and I have to say, regarding the key work, there's the, the placing of the, the E flat, B flat key here, which is particularly convenient to use. Some instruments you have to stretch up, but this is, is very user friendly in terms of the positioning of the key work. So. Good. So comfortable under yeah. your fingers. So yeah. maybe let's have a little listen. Mm. So from my point of view, just actually listening, mm. there's that evenness. Perhaps there is that is. It's very easy to play. It's fun to play because it, it responds. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's a buffet trait, yes. to be fair. Um, I would certainly recommend that to um, a student of mine yeah. as a possible contender. First upgrade, absolutely. Yeah. And if you've come from a buffet student model, for example, this will feel very similar, comfortable on the fingers. Say you've had a plastic one, but you want to go to wood, but maybe you can't quite go up further up the range, mm. and then definitely worth considering. Or maybe even for a doubler, a saxophone yes, flute player needs yes, a, a decent wooden yeah. instrument. You know, it would do the job. In tune and does the yeah. job. Yeah, cool. Okay, well maybe just place a little bit more out to finish if we can, Liz. Mm. 